Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing well in this craziness right now uh, with teaching. I just wanted to give another little lesson plan that really has helped me so much, uh, whether I'm subbing in a kindergarten class or if I'm subbing a middle school class, I've even done this with my high schoolers. So it's my really my go-to whenever I need a lesson that I could either do a quick short, um, you know, 15 minutes that I need to fill in or if I would need to do an hour's worth of a little lesson. So hopefully this helps. All right. So I call this the little short film analysis. And so uh, I start with these questions here. I tell my students, you know, to think about what is creativity. Uh, this topic, this video also is going to talk a little bit about parenting um, and, you know, what it takes to make someone happy. So I give them this preview questions. You might have them write it out. You might have them discuss it with a partner. You might have a whole class discussion. So different ways that you can deliver this. All right, so then this is the film that I constantly talk about because I think it's so wonderful. Again, it's good for any grade level. Um, the kids, the younger ones, uh, you know, really enjoy it. Uh, the older ones can take a look at the, you know, the idea of animation. Uh, you can talk about, again, uh, plot. You could talk about characterization. And even if you didn't talk about any of that, you could just talk about, you know, what is it about? Uh, I love for my students to talk about symbolism. Even just today, I was having my third graders uh, talk about, you know, what's happening to the colors? Why did the directors choose these colors? Um, you know, kids pick up on a lot of interesting little details. So have them uh, take a look at that. I tell them, take a look at those gestures, uh, those facial expressions. And then at the end, we talk about the theme, the message. What What is this uh, director trying to get us to think about? So uh, again, a great little film here called A Life. And I know it's going to play here, but I'm going to skip over to the next slide. All right. So then I pose this for my students and I have them uh, first, you know, really figure out what happened first, really draw out those details. Um, what, uh, again, to think about the topics that are being presented. Uh, again, you could do various things with this. You can have them write it out. I always like for students to talk it out before they write things. Uh, today, I had my students do four corners. So I just got groups of about three or four, socially distanced with their mask on. They each went to a corner and they had to choose one of these questions here to discuss. Um, some students were saying things I, I found it interesting when uh, the little boy was getting in trouble at school. So you can give them some sentence stems. You can have them all agree on a theme, what they thought was the biggest message of the film, and then bring it back to the whole group. And so, uh, again, a couple of ideas. All right. After they've gone uh, through and summarized this verbally, I like to have them do a comic strip. All they do is take a sheet of blank paper. They can make it into four squares. You can have them make it into six squares. And I do ask them to draw out stick figures is fine, right? What's happening in each of those sections. But then I'm going to ask them to do a caption. They need to explain it. Quick one sentence. So now we're practicing some of our literary, literacy skills. Uh, today, like I said, I was in a dual language third grade class so the kids knew both english and practicing their spanish so i had them draw the picture write a sentence in english and then translate it and write it in spanish so that was kind of fun uh looking up words right how do you say backpack in spanish how do you say uh you know uh, uh violinist that was fun so uh, a great verbal skills discussion skills and then writing skills all right then uh, here's a little fun thing. Um, again, we're going to keep working on those literacy skills. I had them write an academic summary. So whether you have your uh, older kids working on transitional words, you might want to up the vocabulary a little bit. Instead of saying later, they might say, however, uh, you know, furthermore, moreover, right? So really playing with that language. Uh, and again, we're talking about sequencing all the way down to your final message. So this is a little frame here. Uh, finally, I love doing this little last part. So again, if you definitely need to, to extend the time because uh, maybe there wasn't a lesson plan left behind. Um, I found this great little video. 
uh, you do have to have this material before you go into the class, right? So you need to get yourself a good, you know, 90, 90 cent uh, roll of foil paper. Uh, and so, you know, I would cut little sheets and eight by 11 is fine, kind of like the size of a sheet of paper. If your kids are a little bit older, I would say third grade and up, they should be able to do this. Um, they're making little sculptures. And so you might give them a task. You know, in this short film, we talked about what makes someone happy, what was making the little boy happy. So then I want you to show a sculpture of something that makes you happy. So I would give them one sheet toward the sculpture and then an extra sheet to do maybe some props. Uh, maybe they want to add a football. Maybe they want to add a dress for a little ballerina, right? And so, again, let them have fun with this. I would definitely have them present at the very end. Maybe they're standing up where they're at and they're sharing with the class. Maybe they're coming up to the front of the room. Or if you have the technology and know how to set this up, you can even have them do a Flipgrid video where they're sharing out and really working on those speaking skills. All right, so that's just a little uh, a lesson plan that I wanted to share with everyone. Feel free to use it, modify it. Hopefully it goes well for you. It, kids always love this little uh, lesson. Uh, they love talking about it and it's such a powerful a message about creativity and about social emotional um, learning, right? And, and being able to deal with our emotions. All right. Thank you so much. My name again, Ms. Garcia. Hope this helps.